An ovulation prediction kit helps a woman know when she's ovulating. It works by detecting a surge in luteinizing hormone, or LH, and this, is, this, this happens usually about mid-cycle. And if you're testing for it, then you should see this like 12 to 36 hours before your, your body's going to ovulate. Now, home pregnancy tests are detecting human chorionic gonadotropin, a different type of hormone, also known as HCG. And um, a woman's body starts to release, it, release this during early pregnancy and levels rise exponentially till about eight to 11 weeks gestation. But both of these hormones, LH and HCG, are glycoproteins, basically a protein molecule with a sugar molecule attached to it. And there are some women who have gotten positive ovulation kit test results during early pregnancy, but haven't gotten the pregnancy test, re the positive pregnancy test result yet because it's too soon to get that but the ovulation kit is detecting the presence of a glycoprotein. So you can't use ovulation prediction kit tests as pregnancy tests or vice versa. If you think you're pregnant, basically the best thing to do is to wait and see if your period starts like it should. If your period never starts, you you know, that day has come when it should have and it doesn't, then it's time to take a home pregnancy test. If that first result is negative, then wait another five to seven days and retest. It's possible to get false negatives if you take the test too early, and for some women, this is even on the day of their missed period or in the few days following because they ovulated later than usual. Most women ovulate about mid-cycle, but some women do ovulate a little bit later. And if this is the case with you, then you might not see a positive pregnancy test until at least two weeks from that time, which might be a week or so after your missed period. So again, I recommend taking another test in about five to seven days and seeing what that result says. And if it's positive, congratulations. But if it's negative, keep the, the appointment set that you have with your OB already. And based on their ability to ask you more specific questions and to perform an exam, they'll decide what's going on and they'll be able to give you the best advice. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.